is destroying our parks. These are words from a ranger in Yosemite National Park. The name of the ranger is not disclosed. This is a quote. Today I worked. We held Yosemite open to 4th of July traffic with no support staff whatsoever. We did so with four rangers in Wawona Badger, four in Yosemite Valley, and these numbers might be slightly off, four in Mather. That is 12 people working while we were seeing 240 to 270 cars per hour coming into the south entrance. Let that sink in. 12 people in a park the size of Rhode Island. Badger sold almost 1,000 lift tickets today. Their limit is 1,200. There are piles of human shit everywhere. Gross, but seriously true. Every roadside turnout has toilet paper and trash. We're gonna drown out Trump. 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 Um, so Stormy Daniels on Instagram Live uh, at 9 p.m. for for at least eight minutes. Um, so feel free to hop over there. Um, really do anything other than watch any of the networks that are choosing to broadcast Trump's dangerous, racist, fear-mongering lies tonight. Hey, hey, go! Trees and Trump has got to go! Hey, hey, go, go! Trees and Trump has got to go! Um, give us a reminder, thousands of scientists are barred from their research while the Trump shutdown is in effect. Untold numbers of delicate experiments are being ruined, with countless others set back significantly. This idiotic action is actively hurting U.S. innovation. Fake prices! Fake prices! Fake prices! Fake prices! No wall! No shutdown! No wall! The wall itself is a symbol of violence. Okay? We want to draw attention to that, the racism of it. We want to draw attention to the fact that we want cheap labor, and yet we want to be racist about it all. We, we want to uh, uh, stoke fear and hatred. I should say our government wants to. No shutdown, no wall. No shutdown, no wall. No shutdown, no wall. Julie McCollum says, I'm a tech with the USDA. We're not allowed in our government greenhouses to water our plants. Three months of growth lost. We don't have enough time to replant and get them to seed by planting time in March. It will lose us a year. Trump the dick! Ooh. But I had the idea that what if all of us, and again, it's just an idea, so Secret Service don't get nervous or shoot us or tase us, but if we were to climb the fence right now or the wall to show them how effective the wall, we're not going to, we're not going to. We have been here for 177 days being peaceful. And it's just, yeah, it's it's not it's not funny and that uh, yeah, that's the problem with uh, asking the audience if they want to step up and take the mic, unfortunately, is that uh, people get a little overexcited. That is not our bag here. <laughs> please, please everybody relax. We are here for a peaceful protest. A peaceful protest. We have a long history here, 177 days with the Secret Service and the Park Service, having a good relationship with them and keeping everything peaceful and chill. So I do not thank you for that, dude. I do not thank you for that. And shame on McConnell. Shame on Trump. And shame on McConnell. Shame on Trump. Shame on McConnell. Shame on Trump. Shame on McConnell. the media has um, a wrong impression
impression of what it means to show both sides of a story. This. Uh, uh, Running Trump's lies is not one side of the story. It's just lies. It's no side of the story. We don't need to put that out there. Um, you know, we don't need to put that out on the media. They are now being part of his misinformation campaign. And I think that they need to learn their lesson and they need to learn it quickly because we have another election on the horizon. And, and this is not what we need to see from them. It's, it's irresponsible journalism.